you, you just look at the risk-benefit ratio. You talk about it with the patient. Like if I'm going to prescribe an SSRI to a new patient who's never been on one, it's going to take me two visits. And maybe we'll decide not to use it. In which case, my patient is not going to be my recycled patient bringing me income for years. But it's still psychiatry. So what can you offer that person if they decide not to go on it? So that's the wrong question. I mean, so you're saying, if you don't give them drugs, then what? I mean, how do you help them? I just believe they don't go. Them, but... Well, the first thing I can do is tell them they don't have a chemical imbalance or something physically wrong with their brain. When people are unhappy, they've been so affected by the media that they've, the one big reason they're coming in for psychiatric help and potentially medications is the fear that they've developed the dreaded chemical imbalance. Just by telling people there's no such thing as a chemical imbalance, you help them. Or a simple question like, how would you expect anyone to be feeling uh, with this kind of a problem? That's really helpful. They go, oh yeah, I, I'm very average. I wouldn't. Once they know that, they're not so interested in medications. Um, and then, you know, there's psychotherapy, supportive psychotherapy. The best thing for a person with emotional difficulty is emotional support. Uh, there is also the natural history of untreated depression, that it's going to go away in six months whether you do something or nothing for most people. Um, and then there's also, as I told you, placebo. I didn't give up on placebo, but I don't use a pure placebo. I use SAM-E. S-adenosyl methionine has been extensively studied. It's a natural molecule found all over the body. It's been studied for 25, 30 years. It's the most common antidepressant used in Italy. But it has just about no side effects. Uh, you give it with a little vitamin B complex because it makes it work better. And Oh, half the people say that works just fine for them. Now, it, is been, it has been studied. It's not placebo, but it's very benign. It's not a placebo. It's not. It's been extensively studied uh, and found to be as effective as the gold standard imipramine, which is the standard against which all other antidepressants are measured. And it's as effective. Or like St. John's work. Right, things like that, that might help or can, don't, at least don't hurt. Well, I don't know about that. St. John's Ward is an MAO inhibitor. I never worked with it. Oh, really? It is a drug. But the, the, and it does have side effects, but SAM-E is really clean. It can hurt your stomach, but it, it has so few side effects and adverse effects, it's really a worthwhile thing for a person with depression as a first stop. So why aren't more doctors using this? Well, they don't teach it in medical school. The, uh, you know, all, all of the educational courses have financial interests. So I suppose if a, if a supplement company paid enough money, we'd have courses on it. But the, the, the medical establishment doesn't work with this sort of stuff.